Firstly, I would talk of uh, management of players. Uh, yeah, I think also maybe in whatever is, is being done in football here, we are not considering the health of the players. Uh, remember last year we are one team which had, I think, half of the team injured. And no one was even talk, blaming uh, the fixtures. It was the coaches to an extent of asking to say who is the fitness trainer. Uh, but also I'm saying, uh, we play a game, players need to recover, then after recovering we go into, if it is a case of going to, into another game, we go, go into another game with fresh legs. But what is happening now is, since last year uh, we had players in the bus, where we ended up travelling, uh, playing three games, maybe with these boys out of their houses for more than two weeks. Then we started off the same way again, and uh, with half of the team injured. Now uh, the same thing is, is still going on. And um, if you can see maybe the fixture that we, be, we have been going, we are traveling a lot. We have been going to Lilongwe. We play a game. We come back here and we play a game. So you play Sunday. Monday you need to recover. And then uh, Tuesday you prepare them. Then you play Wednesday. But if you can see here, don't compare ourselves with uh, professionals and, uh, or even in Europe. Those guys they travel with, uh, with uh, through air, I mean uh, by air, and they can take 30 minutes maybe from Lilongwe to 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 Blantai. As we take four, uh, five, five hours in the road, which is not safe for us. And coming into into the game, yes, uh, unfortunately also we need to fulfil that. Uh, fixture. Uh, but one thing again which comes into my mind is why are we rushing when we are playing a cup final? The other teams are not playing league match. Uh, if they were playing, of course, we could have said, no, it's, it's okay, we can go. But they are not playing. And you force us to go and play. Then after playing it, we travel again almost 350 kilometers to go and play a final in a uh, in space of a day or two, which is, which is not uh, okay. But uh, yes, uh, we'll sit down with the boys and see how best we can tackle it. Obviously, any team that plays against Bullets, uh, they will come hard on us. Uh, everyone wants to play uh, maybe in these big teams, these so-called big teams in the country. And uh, you can even see the way they play towards us. And the good football, where you can say why are in this why are they in this position which they are now? Uh, they are motivated. So it's, it's us how we approach ourselves maybe in order for us to be having points when playing against those teams. So if you can see now, in each and every team that we're playing, we try to raise up our tempo. We try to, to, to push ourselves in order to be taking points. The last game that we played, we played uh, Alec Lungu. And uh, fortunately, he finished off uh, 90 minutes. But again, he's a player who is coming from, from injury. You need also to see how best you can manage him. We are playing again back in an artificial turf there. That one, that's one turf which is very dangerous to players, maybe in terms of uh, the surface uh, when, when they are playing football. So we need, we need to see how best we can manage him. And, um, yeah, to some of the guys, they are still on um, rehabilitation. A any day they might come back again. He's still in the in the in the in the doctor's uh, uh, side. Um, yeah, on Mike's case, it's a crucial one which needs proper attention in order for us maybe to manage him well. I think good question on that. Um, one, I've been talking of uh, traveling. Uh, if you can see, to say, Bullets plays so many games. Um, Bullets can go to the final on each and every uh, cup that is being played in the country. Then if you look, it's one lot, two uh, number of players that we are having in uh, that, at that uh, time, and also the fact of saying maybe at times we are not being protected. And I've seen it several times, especially on fractures. 
uh, you could see uh, or even an official living in a, a direct contact that you can see this should be uh, this should be have been a red card but they were not doing anything to all the players we had fractures mostly uh, the players whom we were playing against they were not cautioned then also uh, another factor again um yeah as, as as coaches also we need we need also to manage our team but i've been doing it i've been doing it a lot where i've been trying maybe to rotate the team Although at times uh, you need results, but you are forced to be doing it in order for for the team maybe to to be to be to be to end the season. Then uh, coming to the surface uh, surface part of it, it's the grounds that we are playing. But it's a case also where other teams can ask me to say, you are talking of surface when other our teams also are playing in these surfaces. But I'm saying, bullets instead of playing. 30 games per season, they will end up playing 60, 62 games. That is, if they are doing well, maybe in each and every cup they are playing, they will end up going to the final. Or even any celebration which is being done, bullets are being invited. So those are some of the reasons that makes us also to be having so many injuries. Then also not running away from the fact of saying, us as coaches also, we need also to manage them, maybe in terms of muscles. Yeah. Um, you see, as players, also us, we do our part, and also a player, uh, he needs the times also to protect. Say, if my uh, uh, bicep is not okay, I need to go into gym and manage it, and so that you can protect yourself. Uh, it's not also a, a coach's job. You can do extras on your own, but again, us also we should have to look into it. Do we have the time of maybe saying we can go into the gym and we do it? We don't because of the fixtures that we are having. Like in this scenario where we play it Sunday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you are, you, are, you, are, you are playing again at times. You see how you can, you can't put load in between. You end up maybe also giving injuries to the players. On those guys who are not playing in, 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 in rotation, at times we do that rotation knowingly to say if I play John, John has been a regular, he will stabilize that central link. We can't do a rotation at times when you are not getting a result. You need to do it knowingly also that uh, if I take him, he can be guided by uh, uh, Mike who is in, in that central uh, midfield. So you can't, you can't put maybe three, three uh, central midfielders, all of them who are always maybe on the, uh, the, who doesn't have confidence. So if you look on Masamba and these other guys, our central midfield, midfield is congested. If you can see, I've been rotating it each and every week. But again, it's very congested where at times also we look on results uh, in order for us to be getting uh, uh, some points. Then same thing again with the little boy, um, uh, Sean. Uh, mas uh, on sides again, we had uh, a lot of players who are playing in the sides where we... we, we, we we end up having problems also of, 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 of playing a game time in him. But yeah, with time, we'll try, we'll try to, to, to play them. Football is all about patience. Uh, if I can tell you that boy, there was at a time where that boy wanted to resign football. Uh, he had gone home to say, ah, I can't play football anymore. We had to follow him, talk to him and giving me a picture, or even the parents, the mother had said, no, I should love to leave football and try to concentrate on working. But we told him the talent that boy had. Uh, yes, of course, uh, there was that pressure when maybe we were needing results. So we had to sit down with him and uh, correct where mistakes were. And uh, he responded well. And uh, if you can see that boy, he's one player who covers ground or even on uh, uh, all the gadgets, uh, as you know, football is becoming scientifically now. Uh, if you can see on those uh, data, data thing, he's always on top of everyone. He covers a lot of distance when he's playing.